kids, it's been a long time since I've spoken to you by video. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up on my 23andMe. Um, for those of you that don't know or just saw my video for the first time, uh, last December I did 23andMe and got the results in January, late January. And I found my family, my bio family, I found all of them. Uh, it was a miracle. I literally found them on like day one, and um, we've been have we've been building our relationships to the extent that they need to be built or want to be built. Um, it seemed a lot more exciting in the first few days and the first few weeks than it turns out to be in the long run because you're jumping into people's lives. And in my case, um, I was 52 when I found everybody. I'm 53 now. So you're jumping into a jump rope that's already been going for a very long time. And the novelty wears off. So um, although it's cool to find relatives that you didn't know existed, um, I found that um, a lot of my siblings, um, they have families. And... They have responsibilities and they have things to do and um, and they have priorities and um, you have to be ready to not be one of those, um, which it might feel like you are at first, but like I said, the novelty wears off uh, and people go back to their routines and um, I'm still building my relationships. Uh, I have I have talked to my mother and I've seen her once on video chat. I met my father. Now, uh, this weekend I'm leaving and I'm going to um, Pittsburgh, and I'm going to meet the older of my two sisters and meet her family and spend time with um, my dad and um, my stepmom, who is also my cousin, by the way distant cousin yeah it's and on my mom's side even so yeah it's amazing how this dna stuff works um so i'm i'm going up north i hope to take some pictures of some fall foliage um and and meet my sister and see how that works out um and meet her her child and her husband and um get some time out of florida Ugh. Florida gets so old after a while. So um, that's it for 23andMe. Now, do um, when you do sign up, and you, if you start taking all the tests and stuff, they will come at you every once in a while with follow-up quizzes that you took earlier. Uh, like they keep track of you pretty tightly. So um, there is more to it than just signing up. Um, if you want to truly participate. But the other nice thing is that every once in a while you get um, an email from them that'll say, oh, you've got 15 more relatives on 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 23andMe. And they'll give you a list of the, all the new people that you're possibly related to. Um, a lot of them are third through sixth cousins. Um, so they're not real close family. Um, but actually, some of these distant cousins I've actually chatted with um, online through 23andMe and um, had conversations with, and it was real pleasant and nice. Um, they were polite, and some of them were more interested in the family tree uh, than I knew how to participate in since I'm new to the family. Um, so I sent them elsewhere where they could probably find better information. Um, but yeah, no, it's a great way to, it's a great way to meet your relatives and your distant relatives. And I highly recommend it. And if you're at all like me who, with, with time to fill, uh, doing the quizzes and stuff is actually kind of entertaining and fun. And it's, uh, it's so nice to do something besides watch the news because the news is so depressing. <laughs> so, um, I highly recommend it. And that's about it for my um, video now. I'm clean shaven and I got a haircut and I'm ready to travel.
So um, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.